Welcome to Pigeon River Farm, doing farming right. I'm Robert Brown, the owner of Pigeon River Farm. Thank you for viewing. Well, good evening. In tonight's episode, we're going to talk about biochar, biochar generators, and how they really work. And one of the neat things that here happened on the farm. A very good friend of mine from nearby town is actually in the stove business, and he's got first pass prototype on a biochar generator and it's a pretty neat device so i went over to his factory um picked it up and changes it into biochar so we have uh, um, a double insulated wall so we can store the heat or preheat all the primary and secondary air and then we have up here you're allowed to put a whole bunch of thermal mass and the covers on as you, you, you stoke your fire in here mm -hmm. Flame heats the barrel, basically dries the wood out first, the right. first phase is going to be steam, the next phase is volatile organic matter, the final phase. Right. And we want relatively dry substrate in there. Right? It's always going to be better. It's yeah. just, it's just I mean, that's what you want you, you wouldn't have to. Yeah. You're just going to be pushing the steam for right. a while. But the know? density of the wood making it, or density different, of the Different, I mean, like oak is going to be a denser yeah. than, let's say, pine. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get a higher quality pine biochar with the hardwoods than the soft. Well, I guess uh, because I've got all the classes, I've got all the cores mm -hmm. that are hard of the hickory. That'll be perfect. Yeah, that's all in the core. There you go. So the air, I'll just explain the airflow since he's over there. The airflow is it, it just goes out the back, then it comes out the front, wraps around, and comes out the back here. And you have a choice to either let it go, the gases go up the chimney by pulling the valve there, or if you close the front valve, the air will go into here, and then um, it'll go, close the valve, it'll go in here, and you can have a choice to meet, either have it just go up the chimney, or you flip this. Then it goes down here, wraps around, comes up, and then goes out. Okay. This is a heat plug. So when it's done burning, it's not, you're not gonna lose all your, your Oh, uh, interesting. You're not gonna lose all, it's not gonna bring the cold air back here. Right, exactly. So because the cold air is gonna sit right back here, so you, mm -hmm. you almost, we're, we'll have to decide if we want to insulate this or not. Right. So you may or may not want to. But there'll be a little seepage of, you know, because the cold air is just going to sit in this back side. Mm -hmm. so, it's a, so we're testing this. We may not even need this, but I think to be efficient. But then it also gives us more heat transfer. Also. Mm -hmm. So that's, so it's all the heat's going down this thing, back around, so it's going to heat, heat up this. These are some of the other stores that we make here. Oh yeah, let's do that. So they're in beige right now. Uh, homestead. And it's a smaller stove, rocket stove. We use gasification process on that. And then we have a mini version of that too, a lunch box size. It's kind of like power units. Mm -hmm. So instead of a propane tank, wood in there. I love it. And I'm helping them do R and D work. I've got an engineering background, so we're we're t uh, we're doing some specific testing for him and in the for the functionality, thermal dynamics, and so on of the stove. We still got to get our, our pilot wood in there. Yep. So if we did that in the wrong order. Well, we're going to regulate the flow of how tall we're going to make the Okay. I just think that burning on the bottom is so, and coming out of the side. So you could actually connect that to a generator, Bob. Yes, you could. And run. But uniquely, I'm able to produce biochar for the farm. Here's the biochar. You can tell good biochar when it's completely all the way through. And you can see like a little iridescence, like a little rainbow. And will, will be done. I will, I don't know why. So it adds one more fertilizer to our arsenal. And it's really going to be, I think it's going to be a phenomenal product here. So remember, it's a first pass prototype. So they just, the fab just got done on it. 
Uh, we have now produced a number of batches of biochar. Very pleased, extremely pleased at how well it worked out. Uh, much more than I would uh, ever envisioned. It uh, has two benefits. Right now it's still sitting outside. Uh, it will be leaving here and heading off to another farm for their evaluation. They're going to focus a lot more on uh, the biochar portion and then of course the heating portion of it for their high tunnels. Uh, so I'm, I'm focusing on the engineering, thermal dynamics, process controls and so on. As you can see this unit really uh, it's large, um, it's dual purpose so it does one thing, it heats up the structure that it would be within and the goal would be your greenhouse or high tunnel. Number two is it produces biochar. It's very innovative in a sense that it uses this 55 gallon drum uh, and you just simply fill it up with wood, get the fire going, 24 hours later, um, it's cooled down and out, out is, comes your biochar. And the biochar, we're doing a lot of experimenting. I've used biochar over the years, but um, I pay for it. I have the access to, to producing some. We tried different species of wood. Uh, later in the season when the unit comes back, we're going to be doing some additional work and seeing how uh, uh, a lot of other materials will work in it. Uh, in conjunction with the other farmer that's uh, currently evaluating it. So there is a lot of tech and uh, in the fertilizer world it's not all doom and gloom. But I, this is something that's going to be used on the farm instead of waiting on supply lines that uh, stretch around the world. Uh, it is one of the fertilizer, it's not the only fertilizer, but it is one of the arsenal of fertilizers that are used in producing high quality food that all of us need. So I thank you very much for your time and have a most wonderful evening.